Hello everyone, Dave Landry here. I'm getting a few requests on how to do relative strength sorts. I use a variety of products in my analysis and uh, one of the favorite ones that I use is Telechart, but I also use Metastock and email me if you need some more information on that. But uh, the sorting feature works really well on Telechart, so let's focus on that for today. Before we get started, I guess the question is, what is a relative strength sort? Well, a relative strength sort is just that. How sectors or stocks or ETFs have done relative to the market. The first thing I do is I, I change my watch list to the list that I want to analyze. In this particular case, I'm going to go to these Morningstar industry groups. Now, I like to look at each and every one of these daily, and I just flip through them about this fast to get a feel for what's going on. If something appears to be rallying or making new highs, I'll flag it and take another look at it later on. But just from this quick glance, I see that independent oil is doing pretty good in here. Maybe you want to keep an eye out for setups there. Also, look at these steel stocks taking off in here, so I'll flag those too. Now, let me show you how to do the relative strength sort. The first thing we want to do is change the watch list, I'm sorry, change your symbol to the S&P 500 or whatever you want to use for the market. Now, you can look at one week, two week, one month, two month, three month, one year, whatever time period you want. In fact, I would encourage you to look at as many periods as possible because although something may be strong longer term, it may not be strong shorter term. And just the opposite could also be true. So first thing you might want to do is start off with this low here and go to the recent high, or today's high, I should say. So the market, since the October low, has gone up about 4.5%. Eh, we click OK. The sort happens very quickly. And we see during that period of time, the music and video stores are up 11%. Internet's up uh, significantly. Service providers are up here at new highs. They're up about 11% too. And then come down here, you can see, look, steel and iron. We just looked at that one. Bam, banging out new highs in here. Winning, looking pretty good. Now, the other thing I would recommend you do is do a sort over longer periods of time, too. Before we do that, let me just show you the bottom of the list, home, home furnishing, diversified computers, medical practitioners. As you can see, draw your big arrows. These areas aren't doing too well. So just with a few clicks, you get a feel for what's working and what's not. Let's take a look at the overall market one more time. And one thing that I find kind of interesting is if you measure from this peak here to recent trading, you can see we're up about 4.5%. Uh, but most of that was done over the last few days. Back to chart out a little bit. And you can see up until the last few days or a week or so, the market really hasn't done anything. It's pretty much flat for four and a half months. Now let's go back to today's date and we'll click OK. And then the sort's going to happen really quick. We can see during this time, uh, residential construction hasn't done too well. But let's look towards the top of the list. And the market was pretty much flat on that period. Well, up 4% or so. But internet service providers were up over 58 percent so it shows you what's working shorter term and what's working longer term and again it's very simple you just hit your c key as in charlie grab a period drag forward to where you want to go to release it and then this pops up and click ok and that's going to do your sort i'm just going to cancel it since we already have a sort in place now what's kind of cool is you can change this to any watch list you want you can change it to your own personal watch list you can change it to all the etfs let me show you something here. For instance, uh, I have this Landry 100. This is 100 of the strongest stocks in the market. It says, hey, you want to recalculate? Why not? So now, over that five-month period, we're looking at in the P's, the S&P 500, we can see that this stock, GERN, GERN, has gone up 280%. These are all stocks in my Landry 100. So I know what stocks are the strongest in my list. And if I come down to the bottom, I know what stocks are the weakest. Again, I look at each and every one of these each day and analyze them and determine whether or not I want to keep them in the list or not. But it does help to do something like a relative strength sort. And by the same token, you could also go in, change this to ETFs, and decide which, uh, or actually it'll show you quickly, he tried to say, which ETFs are the strongest and which ETFs are the weakness. So as a momentum trader, this is a very powerful tool, and it's pretty simple and quick to use, as you can see. Any questions, as usual, Dave at DaveLandry.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and have a great day, and best of luck with your trading.